They are programs meant to protect drug addicts from getting life-threatening diseases, but are they creating a danger for everyone else? Needle exchanges provide clean syringes for drug users, but KDK investigator Andy Sheehan has found those needles are being discarded in parks and along the riverfronts, creating a public health hazard. And new at 6, he takes those concerns right to the mayor's office. It's supposed to be a needle exchange. The city and other organizations give addicts clean syringes to prevent them from getting HIV and other blood infections. But as you can see, they're not exchanged at all. They're simply discarded. Hey, watch where you step. Step carefully through this abandoned homeless encampment on the north side and you'll see them amid the abandoned tents, blankets, and garbage. Syringes distributed by the city and others used for the safe injection of heroin, then simply thrown away, presenting a danger to anyone who comes near. It's littered with needles. Just everywhere you walk, you, it's a hazard now. They're here in this encampment near the Heinz Lofts and the Sarah Heinz After School Program, but can also be found along the riverfront trails and in the alleyways, anywhere where addicts decide to use intravenous drugs in the city, and residents like Nick Santillo want the city to do something about it. If they're going to give out free needles, they need to have responsibility to, to recollect them, to clean it up. A year ago, Mayor Ganey announced the creation of the city's needle exchange program, the idea being supplying addicts with clean syringes to prevent them from contracting HIV or hepatitis C, but having them either return the used ones or dropping them off in sharps boxes like this. While the city's program is still only in limited operation, it has partnered with the organization Prevention Point Pittsburgh, which distributes clean syringes from offices and vans. But the city concedes the lack of disposal has created a problem. We've learned a lot in the past year about what is working, what is not working. And again, we're evaluating those opportunities both through our outreach workers and through our partners to see what we need to be doing better in terms of safe disposal of, of the needles and other items. That would be a new effort to clean up these sites and recapture the syringes after they're used. Providing um, folks in those areas with uh, sharps boxes for safe, safe disposal and then working through a plan on how we can go through and pick up those and keep those places uh, a little bit more safe for everybody. But as you can see, these programs are not working as they're intended and these syringes are just being discarded everywhere to the danger of children and residents. Reporting on the north side, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.